Hi boys and girls, welcome back to Writer's Workshop. So we just finished up brainstorming. Remember in our last video, we brainstormed some ideas of things we could write about. To brainstorm is to think. Remember, you made this brainstorming chart. Well, now it's time to pick one thing to write about. So I decided that I'm going to pick new cat. I'm gonna write about the time that we got our new cat. So today's lesson is all about planning. Step two, you plan. Step one, you think. Step two, you plan. And this is how you plan. You will need three pages. Now you can use three pages from your writing journal. Here I have one, two, three pages. So right now, go get your writing journal and turn to the next blank page, and we're gonna use three pages. So pause the video and go get your journal. Okay, boys and girls, so now you have your journal opened up to the next blank page. Here is my first page of my story. So when you plan, you point and touch the pages as you tell the story. So my story is all about uh, my new cat. So first, we went to the store. Um, Malachi, my son and I, we went to the store to get our baby kitten. So we got our kitten from a foster family and we picked him up at Petco. And the reason why we were getting the kitten was uh, to give to Mr. Boss for Father's Day, to surprise him. Right, then I'm gonna turn the page and I'm gonna tell what happened next in the story. Notice how I don't even have a pencil in my hand. I'm just planning. You point and tell the story out loud first. Next, we got toys and cat litter and, the, and a litter box and cat food. So I'm thinking about what I'm gonna draw on this page. So this is what happened next in my story. Okay, then I'm gonna turn to the last page in my story. The last thing that happened was um, we got home, we had wrapped all the presents, the cat toys, and we gave the cat toys to Mr. Boss and surprised him with the cat, and he was so excited. We said, surprise, and he couldn't believe that we got a new cat. All right, now it's your turn. So now I want you to pause the video. I want you to point to the first page in your story and tell me what happened first. Turn the page, tell me what happened next, and then tell me what happened last, pointing and touching the pages in your story. All you're doing is saying it out loud right now. Pause the video and get started. All right, after you have planned the story, then it's time to do your sketches. So I've been already working while you were planning. I sketched out my pictures. So first I drew a picture of my son and I going to Petco. Here it says Petco, and here's our little cat. His name is Mahi. And then well, this is Alexis. This is who we got the cat from. All right, notice how I have no words down here below my picture because you sketch across the pages first. And I keep using this word sketch. To sketch means to draw with pencil. So we're not coloring right now. We're just drawing the pictures with pencil and labeling them. So next we got cat litter, cat food, toys, and a litter box. All right, notice how there's no words written right now because we just sketch first. All right, then I go to my last page, which is the end of my story, where we are giving Mahi, oh, I forgot to label Mahi, that's our cat, to Mr. Voss, and he's saying, yay, and then I'm over here and I'm saying, surprise, and this is my daughter, Lily, and she is so excited too, and this is Malachi. So you can label everything, but you're not writing the story yet. All right, now it's your turn. So I want you to flip to the first page in your story, and I want you to sketch your pictures. Sketch your beginning, sketch or draw your middle, and then sketch or draw your last picture. All right, pause the video and do that now. boys and girls now it's time to um, begin writing so I have finished my three sketches my beginning my middle and my end and now I'm going to start writing just on the first page today 
Okay, that's the only thing we're going to do. We're not going to write past the first page. So this is the beginning of my story. So what do I want to say first? Well, I want to say when this happened. So I'm going to say on Father's Day. So you have spaces between my words. Notice how my sentence starts with a capital letter. That's very important. On Father's Day, we got a cat for Mr. Voss. Now notice how I used a capital letter here. This is because it's someone's name. Mr. Voss is a name. Anytime you have a name, you use a capital letter. Notice how there's a capital letter here. That's because it's a holiday. Father's Day begins with a capital letter. All the rest of my letters are going to be lowercase. Now who knows what I forgot? That's right, it's a period. So a period at the end of my sentence. Let me go back and read it. On Father's Day, we got a cat for Mr. Boss. First, we went to the store to get Mahi. Mahi is the name of our cat, so I used a capital letter here and a period. Okay, boys and girls, I'm all done writing for today because I have finished the first part of my book. So just to remind you, what you have to turn in today is you have to turn in um, your three-page book with your picture for the beginning, the middle, and the end. And I also want to see that you have started writing your story only for the first page. Okay, when you have completed this assignment, you need to take a picture of all three pages and post on Seesaw. We will finish this story up next week. Good job.